this traffic snarl up is not without reason. Further ahead, security checks are intense and entry into the Garden City Mall and other major malls across Kampala, whether in a car or on foot, will depend on security personnel manning the entry points. Young and old alike, going through security checks has become the norm in Kampala. So just in case you have an important appointment or a deadline to meet, whether going to an office or just about to embark on a normal shopping trip, plan ahead of time for you'll be losing quite some hours in these checkpoints. Security personnel have been deployed on the streets in their abundance. Their presence offers many members of the public a sense of security just in case another suicide bomber happens to appear. Police say despite the twin bombings in Kampala a week ago, the ongoing African Union summit has also necessitated heightening of security. Everybody is now on full alert. Since the release of the reconstructed pictures of the key suspects in the 11th July bombings, police say they have received positive feedback. A lot of information has come in, especially through the emails, through telephone. Many people have given us useful information which we are following. And as investigations into the bombings continue, sections of areas that were targeted remain cordoned off. The road passing by the Ethiopian restaurant where one of the bombs was detonated remains closed and the place jealously guarded. Police Chief Major General Kare Kaihura made some visits to the scenes today afternoon. The Federal Bureau of Investigation's FBI crew spent a better part of the day here yesterday trying to gather more evidence as they try to reconstruct events on that fateful Sunday night when close to 80 people were killed and tens more mimed. Tony Muangala, NTV Tonight.